Yo guys, what is up? It is Max7HG here today, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you guys step by step what you need to do to unlock the posterizer badge for your my player in NBA 2K17. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up, and let's get straight on into the first step. So the first step is to customize your my player. Now I am going to be using a small forward for this video and what I want to talk about is the upgradable badges. Under slasher you can upgrade posterizer which means you can get it silver and gold. But the only bad thing about using a slasher style for a small forward is you really don't have great shooting as you see your three point shot and mid range is absolutely awful. So what I did was instead of using a slasher, I decided to use a point forward, which is basically a point guard and a small forward combined. And this is how I decided to create my character. If you guys really do care on what characteristics I made, you can check that out. So the reason I picked a point forward was because I want to use this character. And for me to get the best out of this character, I want to be able to shoot. And slasher isn't very good for shooting. So if you guys love cramming on people in park and you love destroying people with dumb be my guest and pick slasher I'm not telling you to pick point forward if you love dunking then I highly recommend slasher it's just slasher is not the greatest for an all-around small forward slasher does let you upgrade posterizer but you can get posterizer with any position any playing style it's just you can only upgrade posterizer with slasher So the next step is to upgrade your player. To do this, you have to go to the main menu, then to the attribute upgrades, until you get to this screen. Now what you want to do is to upgrade your dunks and your layups, use most of your VC on that, and then use your other VC on whatever you want to use it on. So if you want to be a better shooter, use your VC for shooting. Just make sure your layups and dunks are upgraded enough. So I gave in and I bought 75k VC for only $20. It is such a steal. I'm not telling you guys you have to do this, but it makes it so much easier to improve your character and to be better at this game. So it's just so much more convenient. So in order to update your settings, all you have to do is go over to the options tab and click on settings. Make sure your game difficulty is on rookie because it makes it a lot easier to get the badge. And also, make sure your quarter length is on 12 minutes. So this is because you are allowed to get badges mid-game and then you can just sim to end. It makes it a lot easier to save time. I like to put action replays on never just because it saves a lot of time. But if you like watching them by any means, keep them on. Once you've done that, the next step you're going to need to take is to buy your contact dunks now follow what i'm doing right now and it will lead you straight to the contact dunks you can purchase now as you can see there are four contact dunks i can purchase but three of them are locked that is because i do not have my driving dunk upgraded to where it needs to be in order to unlock those you can easily do this if you have a different style character but one contact dunk will do perfectly fine in order to get the badge now once you have purchased at least one item, you can follow exactly what I'm about to do here. Go to your NBA animations and then to your dunks and layups and make sure that your contact dunk is there. This is vital if you want to get the badge. So now that you have your contact dunks, you can go buy your regular dunks. The only player package I get is LeBron James, just because I like his dunk package the best. You guys can get whatever you want. And I also use a lot of two-handed dunks instead of one-handed dunks, but I also have tomahawks. This is just what I prefer. It does work for me, so if you guys want to do this, go ahead and do it. I just find that these work the best. Now that you've bought your dunks, go back to the screen and start putting them in. Even if you only bought one dunk, make sure to put that dunk in all of the dunk spots so your player dunks more often, making it a lot easier to get the badge. So before I get to talking about how to get your contact dunks, number one, I want to clear up some mishap that a lot of people are talking about. Number one, you do not have to be a slasher in order to get the badge. Number two, you do not need 15 contact dunks. What I found is you just need to get a bunch of slam dunks. I played about 10 games in my career and I ended up getting the badge and I just got a ton of slam dunks. Every opportunity I had, I would dunk on my opponent. I only had about 6 contact dunks. I would say you need at least 5 contact 
contact dunks and just a bunch of slam dunks. Now, the tactic I use to get contact dunks, instead of driving to the basket, because a point forward isn't that great at driving, so what I would do is I would sit in the paint, obviously not get a three second violation, but I would sit in the paint and wait for my teammate to pass it to me. I wouldn't spam for a pass and I wouldn't ball hog because that causes a double team. But as you can see on this contact dunk, what I would do is I would wait under the basket for my teammate to pass and I would turn around and dunk on my defender. I just found that the easiest way to get contact dunks and when people say you need to drive or you need to be a slasher it's way too hard. Honestly all you gotta do is put your mind to it and just really focus on getting contact dunks because that's all it takes. You do not have to be great at the game. This badge is pretty simple to get but getting it while being a point forward is even better than a slasher because you're even better at dunking and it's just a better attribute instead of just being only good at dunking if you get what I'm saying. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys next time. It is been Max7HD, and I'm out. Peace.